Hey everyone, what's going on? Uh, AJ here. I did just upload a video yesterday um, just going through Envision and kind of showing how easy it is to make slash create animations. And I wanted to show you another, um, I guess, animation here uh, for a couple of screens that I've designed for Chad, uh, which is an app that I've created and started. But essentially, uh, I want to show like the drop down animation here and I want to show a, a cool, pr uh, pretty cool animation here for uh, this plus symbol. Um, but to start, let me just center this real quick. Oh, whoops. Center this and then I'll do the same with, uh, actually, I actually messed up a little here. So let me, should be 25 away and this should be 25 away. So I'm I'm uh, measuring this. I'm measuring. I'm doing these measurements uh, just by holding in the option key on the mat. So if I hold in the option key, it will tell me how far of distance I should be away. Uh, I am from each corner here or each side. Uh, usually for apps, uh, you know these symbols that you see in the top right here and the top left. They're usually the the I guess the average dimension should be around 20. So you should be 20 away from. Uh, the actual sidebar here and that's what I have up here uh, but for down here uh, I kind of want to I kind of like how this buttons kind of hovering in the middle of the screen and I'm thinking what you know when you have your thumb it's gonna be really easy to uh, press so that's kind of why I moved it over another five pixels from the uh, from the sidebar here uh, but let me just move this one real quick I'm still designing this so that's why you kind of You'll kind of see like this blank text box here, um, but I can easily uh, I can easily add these just by copying them, clicking this artboard, and clicking paste, and then it automatically puts them uh, in in that text box that I want. And then I obviously just like just like the other designs, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take this icon, the camera, and this text box here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group them. And I'm going to label it text box. Okay, so anytime I like drag this around, these elements are going to be attached to each other. So I'm going to give you a quick breakdown real quick. And not breakdown, but I guess sample. Uh, so if I click play here, this is why Envision is so cool. I can literally send this to my phone. I can share this with my teammates. Um, but the, the great thing about it, you know, Framer and Sketch all, and Figma have this as well. Uh, their preview mode. Uh, but some about Envision's uh, preview mode just looks a lot cleaner. I love how they give this extra white space uh, for the background of your phone, and they obviously add the phone in here as well, so you can visually see how the app's going to look on your mobile device. But essentially, this is for those who don't know, Chat is is helping people connect with others in a surrounding area through location-based chat rooms, and this is what kind of we think this our chat room is going to look like um we kind of want to go with this kind of look uh, not just basic you know header you know we have this nice little floating bubble here that we're going to be animating it's going to be kind of rippling uh you can favorite the chat room so that you can always go back to it you don't have to go searching for it again uh, and then we have the title back to go back to the previous page obviously and then we have you know, a bunch of text like username underneath the profile picture. You have that mention feature. And then we have some called reactions, which is similar to those who know have used Cash App or Slack. You can they're called reactions, but essentially when when you wanna when you go to a message, uh, you can react to it with a bunch of different emojis instead of just liking like Instagram and all them have. But I did want to show you a couple of animations here. Uh, so if you want to check out our chat room options for the app designer chat room, all you have to do is click this down arrow and this card pops up and um, sorry about that. Uh, but essentially you have, you can turn on your alerts, your, your uh, notifications. We're going to have chat room music in the background. Um, users will be able to add chat room music and then you can report uh, this chat room if you feel like, you know, it's not a good one, but we're, I'm going to be moving these up, but I just the point of this video is I just want to show you some animation, how easy it is in Envision, uh, and then you know we obviously have our toggle here. Oh, that messed up. All right, let me reset here. Oh, hold on. 
Let me just go back here. Sorry about that. Um, I won't do that because that's not toggled yet. But what I can do is I we want to add some features to our text, right? So when people are, are texting or uh, they're, they're, they're going to send a message, you know, we do have this cool animation with the card, but we want to add a cool little plus minus feature. So like you can share pictures, you can share GIFs, and then this at feature will filter this chat room to uh, users that mention you. So in this case, let's just say Lex was um, in control here and, and uh, he clicked the at feature. It would then filter to just this text right here because I added him. Uh, we figured this might be a good a feature since chat rooms are going to get pretty crowded and you might just want to talk to people that are mentioning you. So to get rid of this um, little toggle here, menu toggle, uh, you just click my, you click minus and it goes back. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's how easy Envision is. I'm going to start, uh, I'm probably going to upload another video of myself creating a page inside of Chad. But if you see, there's I have a ton of artboards in here, and the app is running seamlessly. You know, Framer, I find that it is uh, lags a lot, uh, especially when the file starts to get bigger. But I'm really excited. I have a meeting with their team tomorrow morning. Going to give them some feedback, see if I can uh, help. You know, improve their their program. I do I do use uh, Framer. I use Sketch, and I use Envision now. So I'm obviously experience when it comes to these types of uh, platforms and I know and honestly I think Envision is by far the best so far they have great they have all the tools Sketch has and all the tools Framer has uh, but they have great animation features and Framer does too and you can add you can code with Framer as well to add even better customization or custom animations but I don't have that knowledge and so as a basic designer who's more visual this is a tool that is, is really good for me. So, but that's really it guys. I, I appreciate you guys come, stopping by and, and watching the video. If, if you guys have any comments or anything like that, you know, please feel free to post it in the comments below. I'm going to try and get better at making these videos and, and providing content for you guys because uh, I think it's good if you're, if you're trying to become a designer, you know, to, to start watching people on YouTube. That's kind of what I did to learn. So, but other than that guys, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Please like this comment, subscribe to me, uh, do whatever you want. I I'm always here to help. Uh, you can always reach out to me uh, whenever you want at aj at contactchad.com. In the meantime, I will see you in the next video.